Hey, hey artists! Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to paint some really beautiful, soft, dynamic black fur. Now black is a very tricky color of fur to paint, um, and where most people go wrong is they only use black and white paint. But in reality, there's so much color involved. So here I'm going to be painting on a piece of loose canvas and just taping it to a board so it doesn't move around, but you can paint on whatever surface you want. So what I'm going to do first is just using a pencil, I'm just kind of mapping in where the major fur chunks are going to go, where my major shadows are, some highlights, just some rough sort of mapping that's going to be happening here, just to give us something to work with. Now the colors I'm going to be working with are going to be ivory black, burnt umber, titanium white, and a little bit of Prussian blue for color. Also going to be using liquid original for my glazing medium and an assortment of brushes. Now I am working with oils here, but you can definitely get the same effect with acrylics as well. I worked with acrylics exclusively for years, so I know it's possible. Highly recommend working with a slow drying medium, and you might just have to work in smaller chunks as you go, just to make sure things don't dry too quickly on you. This tutorial is brought to you by the Wildlife Painting Academy. You can learn more about it in the description of this video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is starting to map out the darkest parts of the painting first. So here I'm going in with ivory black and with really rough brush strokes, I'm just trying to get in those darkest points. The reason why I like to focus on this first is because it prevents you from having contrast issues down the road and it just gives you a nice sort of map to be able to work from. Now I'm gonna to start to work a little bit lighter. So I'm adding a little titanium white to my paint in order to you know, get a little bit brightness happening. And I'm still working from darkest to lightest here, but starting to butt up against where I had that ivory black, making a little bit lighter, starting to build up some of that difference in tone. Now there's actually a lot of color involved with painting black fur. There's going to be a lot of deep, rich browns, especially those in the shadows. And then I find a lot of the highlights tend to reflect a little bit of blue. So usually from the environment, the sky, different things like that. So that's why you can see me starting to put a little bit color here. So my highlights are getting a little hint of blue and then my shadows are getting a little bit, bit of brown. So burnt umber is going to be a big part here. And then you can further play around with those colors once we get into our glazing. Now I'm going in with my lightest sort of gray tone that I've mixed up, adding those highlights, and then we are going to do some blending. So I had some really rough brush strokes happening. I'm gonna grab a dry brush and I'm just gonna do some blending here to kind of take the edge off those brush strokes. And as a result, it's gonna give us a really nice soft base for our fur. So now I'm going in with some slightly smaller brushes here and I'm starting to build up a little bit of detail in that fur texture. I'm starting off by kind of reestablishing some of those shadows, carving out some of that fur texture, and then I'm going to kind of do the same thing but with my lighter tones to build out those highlights. All right, so now it's time to focus on some detail. 
I switched to a small round brush here. You could also use something like a liner or a rigger brush, something that's got fewer but really long flexible bristles that allow you to get those nice fl long flowing lines, whatever you want to use. And now I'm focusing on building up that detail. This point is really important to have your reference close by. Actually, it's important for the entire painting, but for details, details just make everything pop. So make sure you keep your reference close by and really start to work on that fur. You want to pay close attention to the direction that the fur grows in, as well as the length and the overall texture and shape. All of these things are super important for making realistic fur, especially realistic fur that doesn't look like plasticky or too perfect and fake. We want to have it realistic and there's a little bit of chaos in nature and we actually want to embrace that. So I'm just going back and forth here with my different colors that I've mixed up and reinforcing those beautiful details in my fur. Okay, so now that our details are complete, we're gonna put our painting aside for a few days until it's completely dry because now it's time for glazing and you need your painting to be completely dry for glazing. So I'm gonna be using my favorite glazing medium of all time for oils, Liquid Original by Windsor & Newton. So here I mixed up a couple of glazes. Basically, I'm using a really dark shadow glaze that's mostly ivory black in order to really strengthen some of those shadows. So make things darker and also using it to carve out some of the different fur chunks. And I'm also using another glaze that has a lot of blue in it. And that's going to really brighten some of that color. It's gonna give it more life, make it look prettier. And then that's when I like to go in and do my final pass of detail. I like to work it into a wet glaze layer. It tends to look a little more natural, less dramatic, but I like that look. And yeah, just go ahead and pop in all those final details and highlights, and then your fur is complete. If you want to start learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily, then I think you would love the Wildlife Painting Academy. Get access to on-demand, full-length painting masterclasses, so you can learn how to paint a huge range of animals with my voice and instructions walking you through every moment. You can learn more in the description of this video. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you feel a little more confident in how to paint black fur. It's definitely a tricky one, but with a couple of tips and tricks, it can be super easy and fun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Stay magical, my friends.